This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com. Murderers, published in the Battle Axe, issue 104, September 1976. In the 23rd chapter of Matthew, Jesus Christ brings an indictment against in verses 29 through 35, these devils condemned themselves. Jesus said, Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves. Jesus continued, That ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? This indictment climaxes in the 35th verse when the boldest of all statements is made by Jesus Christ that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. The 8th chapter of John further confirms this profound truth when the master in verse 44 exposes the true identity as the children of the devil. Subsequently, they are castigated as murderers and liars. As if this weren't enough to convince any Bible student that the are bloodthirsty devils Jesus further reveals in Revelation 18.24 that in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and all that were slain upon the earth. This prophetic denunciation was made against Babylon, which is symbolic of Peter confirms this truth in the closing of his first epistle, 1 Peter 5.13. It must be noted that Peter's ministry was in Jerusalem, and his church was in the lion's den of Peter identifies his church as being at Babylon, and the only Babylon that existed in the day of Peter and John was the Babylon of <laughs> whose destruction is foretold in Revelation 18. According to God's law, all murderers are to be executed and society forever purged from their iniquitous existence to execute those who are guilty of the cold, calculated murders of all the slain upon the earth is only righteous justice. If it is radical, then God is the author and the commander of this most holy of all radicalism. All wars have been nothing more than a bloody harvest. America has never gained any power from World War I, World War II, Korea, or Vietnam. The precious has been sacrificed on their bloody altars. They're the only has ever prospered through their international banking houses and munition factories when the has waged battle against itself. Those who have prospered by the sword shall soon perish by it. The 
and guilty as charged by Jesus Christ and their judgment and destruction is guaranteed by Yahweh God Almighty. This message is produced by truthfromgod.com which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at truthfromgod.com.